But that is not all. In addition to being forced to give up our awards and our titles and our opportunities, the NCAA forced me and my female swimmers to swim to share a locker room with Thomas, a six foot four, 22 year old male equipped with and exposing male genitalia. Let me be clear about this. We were not forewarned we would be sharing a locker room. No one asked for our consent and we did not give our consent. And I'll, I'll set the scene. A swimming locker room is not a place of modesty. You're undressing, you're fully exposed. And we were forced to take off our swimsuit in front of a man who was doing the exact same thing. If nothing else, I truly hope how you can see this is a violation of our right to privacy and how some of us have felt uncomfortable, embarrassed, and even traumatized by this experience. I know that I don't speak for every single person who competed against Leah Thomas, but I know I speak for many because I saw the tears. I saw the tears from the ninth and 17th place finishers who missed out on being named an All-American by one place. And I can attest to the extreme discomfort in the locker room when you, from these 18 to 22 year old girls, when you turn around and there's male eyes watching in that same room. And I can attest to the whispers and the grumbles of anger and frustration from these girls who just like myself had worked our entire lives to get to this meet. 